guys, if you are in need of some motivation to set up your week, get things done, get things in place for a successful and productive week, I am here for you. I'm going to be sharing my weekend reset routine, meal prepping, restocking, decluttering, organizing, doing a lot, and you're coming along with me. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to get moving. Welcome to Jamie's journey. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you for being here. Truly, thank you for taking time. I know if you're watching this on a Sunday or a Monday, it doesn't matter. Your time is valuable. And just know, I appreciate that you're, you're here. And I hope when this video is over, you're feeling good. You're feeling happy and maybe ready to jump up and get something done. If you're new here, I'm Jamie. And my goal is to brighten your day, to add some value to your life. I'm just a Midwestern girl born and raised from Northwest Ohio. I am passionate about cleaning and organizing, just trying to find ways to help you clean better and more efficiently, maybe even make it a little bit more fun. I hate to cook, but of course I have three kids, so cooking has to be done. I have to eat, so I try to find simple, easy recipes. Fitness and nutrition is a big part of my life, so while I don't eat perfectly clean, I kind of believe in balance, and I just aim to eat as healthy as I can, but of course indulge in the stuff that I love, like chocolate chip cookies. But thank you for being here, and after today's video, I'm going to guarantee that you're going to be ready to tackle your week. So for these weekend resets or Sunday reset routines, what I like to do is share the stuff that I like to do. I want to say on a Sunday, but it's more throughout the weekend since I upload my YouTube videos on Sunday. A big bulk of my Sunday, I am spending time answering comments. I'm answering comments throughout the day, making posts, getting my video uploaded. So that kind of takes some time from my Sunday. So what I'm sharing with you is stuff that I would normally do on a Sunday if I didn't upload a YouTube video and I tend to do this stuff throughout the weekend. So, you know, it's washing our sheets, making sure all the laundry is done and caught up. And oh, in today's video, you're going to see I just really did a lot and we had, I think, three loads of laundry that needed to be folded at the end of the night and Mike and I were going to do it together and I was actually going to answer some questions that you guys had asked me, which... I am still going to answer. And he was like, just go lay down. I'll take care of it. So he's going to fold laundry on camera and I'll answer your questions. So that will be at the end of the video.
One thing for me is on a Monday morning, for the most part, I like to wake up to a picked up house. I don't want to say a clean house because my house will never all be clean at once because of kids. But at least the kitchen and the living room I like to have picked up on a Monday morning because to me, Monday mornings are already overwhelming. I don't know what it is. I mean, I think we can all agree. Monday mornings can be so overwhelming. And so it just helps me when at least the countertops are clear, floors cleared, and all of that. You know, I get asked a lot, especially like the reason why I'm bringing it up because in last week's video, I was sick and I wasn't super sick, but I was not feeling the best. And Mike and I had decluttered our storage area. And the main reason why I pushed through was because he had some time off of work. So we were like, okay, we really need to take advantage of this time because I needed him to finish that project and to declutter it. I'll have that video linked in the description. It was a huge storage room declutter. But so we had to take advantage because we had the time since he was off of work and you know I get asked a lot like how do I have the energy that I have and honestly I just I personally have a hard time sitting still I attribute that mostly to my kids if you're a mom to young children or even a parent to young children you just know that you don't get the opportunity to sit still very often and I have a very active partner Mike is very hands-on 50 50 he works from home and if he's not in a meeting if he can help in the mornings um, pick up or drop off from school he is always there because he wants to help so I have equal help and I still never sit down so for me it's like I'm just so used to always doing something that it's hard honestly for me to relax but that's part of it and then the other part was Mike had the time off of work so we're like we gotta take advantage but you need to check that video out I'll have it linked in the description So just to set you up for the rest of the video because there's kind of a lot in today's video later on in the video or on day two i'm going to be um we had groceries delivered we had groceries delivered from walmart and thrive market so i got those i was going to completely restock clean up deep clean our fridge restock it all restock the fridge declutter that and i'm going to be doing some meal prep i am making i found this recipe first time we made them they're mcgriddle bites mcgriddle bites it they're so good so the girls have been eating them every morning i'm gonna make some overnight oats that are it's it's like a fall recipe cinnamon cinnamon roll overnight oats i'm going to be making a one pot seven can soup recipe literally a recipe that you can just have everything in your pantry so if you need a quick recipe you just dump it in a pot you heat it up you let it boil boil and it'll cook up in like 15 or 20 minutes so a lot of meal prepping and I'm also going to be sharing with you are there new chairs in the basement and the picture frames we got one of them hung up and I'm going to share it with you Do not judge how messy my kids' rooms are. They're gonna clean them up this afternoon.
So I'm gonna preface this by saying this is a total joke. I'm making a joke. I've been through infertility. I'm very grateful for all three of my girls. I would not, never take anything back. But when I do all of our bedding, I have that thought in my head. It's the only time I'm like, man, when you wash our bedding, all of our bedding, you know, we have a quilt on there, especially at this time of the year. And then you have all the kids bedding. It's so much. It literally takes all day, like literally all day to complete. And I'm like, oh, it'd be nice if I had less kids because of the bedding. Obviously joking, but it's the one time I'm like, man, it's a lot to get all of that bedding done. I think Avery's, I was pulling her stuff out as she was going to bed. But anyways, I'm putting baking soda on our mattress. So I just sprinkle the baking soda. It helps clean and deodorize the mattress in a natural way. There's, with the transition um, of seasons, fall, everyone is sick around here. I know so many people are sick in Northwest Ohio. So the changing weather has been crazy. I'm trying to stay on top of, um, you know, allergens and just trying to keep our mattress and linens as clean as possible. But I'll vacuum it up later in the evening. You shall so beautiful the way the water drips on your phone. I always knew you were too good for me, and that we would never be. We share the last that secret. It is the least thing that I regret. Now I close the door, leave you asleep. The town is empty. So after deep cleaning the fridge and before I do some restocking in here, that's the most satisfying part, I was going to clean my fruit to have it all ready. So I wanted to clean it here in a minute to let it dry before I put it in containers and restock the full fridge. I got a new fruit and veggie cleaner from Thrive Market. I typically place an order every other month and stock up on our favorite pantry snacks. And there's a few other things that I get from there that are just staples in our house and they're just cheaper at Thrive Market. So I get them every time I place an order. Then I'll go back and clean out and organize the pantry and do some meal prepping with the items that I got from Thrive. Something that I want to say right out front, Thrive Market saves me money every single time. They have guaranteed savings. If you have a yearly membership, which is what we have, at the end of the year, if you don't save as much as you spent on the membership, they will credit you the difference so you have nothing to lose. Thrive Market has been a staple in my house for over two years. I have items there that I get every other month when I place an order, and they have the best snacks for me and the girls. And if you're not familiar with what Thrive Market is, it's an online membership-based grocery store with an amazing selection of organic groceries, snacks, supplements, eco-friendly cleaning supplies, non-toxic beauty items, personal care items, organic kids products, wine, meat, seafood, frozen veggies, and more. And I just like it because they have a huge variety, and my kids like it because I can switch stuffs up and they don't get bored of us buying the same stuff over and over. Okay, so the plan here was, so when I placed this order, I got stuff to meal prep, which we're going to be doing here in a little bit. So lots of meal prep. I'll share some of my favorites, the things that I get every time, and some new things that you guys have recommended to me. One of this is this toasted marshmallow almond and coconut creamer. I don't use creamer a lot, but this came highly, highly recommended by you guys, toasted marshmallow. So it's unsweetened, dairy-free, and I'm really, really excited to try that. Um, so I pick that up. We love this granola butter, guys. It's so, so, so good. So we got this, you know, our standard bars. Oh, Avery loves these almond butter 
kind bars. They're the protein bars. I cannot find them anywhere but Thrive Market. So I pretty much have been getting these every time I've placed a new order. And my Kodiak cake power waffles. I talk about these every single time I go to Thrive or I get an order from Thrive. I eat these every single day, every single day. Mike said I'm gonna turn into a Kodiak cake power waffle. I love these and they Thrive Market has the best price. So I always stock up. I got a bunch of boxes of those bars, cereal. The girls love these fruit circles. They get so excited. Like I'm gonna organize in the I'm gonna organize the pantry tonight. I'm gonna organize in the pantry and the girls are gonna flip out because they love these. I actually have a hard time keeping them because they go through them so quickly. Um, these, we really like these Heavenly Hunks Oatmeal White Chip. I don't think we've tried this flavor. We've tried the other, couple. there's a couple other flavors, but we really, really like them. They're kind of like my energy bites that I make, um, but just like a different flavor and just already made. So that makes things a little bit easier. I get some chickpea pasta, which the girls like. This ta um, taco seasoning, their organic taco night spice blend. This is our go-to, we love it. That's why I got all of these packs. We eat tacos once a week, so we got a lot of those. And then we're actually trying these for the first time. The pretzel crisps, the cheddar cheese. Avery takes a snack every day to school because they eat lunch so late. Um, so she's been really liking pretzels and I thought that would be a little bit of a different flavor, just something different. And then part of the meal prep, I'm gonna be using this protein pancake and waffle mix. We've gotten it before and it's a really, really good price. And I just like how there's some added protein in there. Again, Avery eats lunch pretty late. I think it's almost one o'clock before she eats. So I wanna, I try to make something for breakfast that will really stick with her for most of the morning. And oh, this was also new this time this fruit and veggie wash. Obviously you can use vinegar or baking soda, but sometimes it's just nice to have something that's all ready to go. Um, so I got that, it's just nice to kind of keep under the sink. And then our normal Thrive Market favorites. You can't go wrong, love Thrive Market. Oh, and these too, this is new. We've tried these, um, the Pipcorn is what it's called. We've tried a couple of the other flavors and we really, really like them. So I thought we'd try out the cheese balls this time. And again, I just like it. Like I said, Avery taking a snack every single day to school, it's supposed to be healthy-ish. Like they can't take candy or chocolate or anything like that. So I just like how I'm give, giving her something that's not all complete junk, you know? I've been a lover of Thrive Market and a member for over two years. So if you guys want to give them a try, you can get 30% off your first order plus a free gift worth up to $60. All of the details, the link, the offer will be in the description. And if you guys ever try something out, let me know. If you love it, like, I'm giving this a try because you guys told me you love it. So send me your favorites and we can all try different things. So with Thrive Market, you can filter the catalog of products by diet and lifestyle, product types, and your favorite brands, whether you're gluten-free, vegan, keto, you can shop over 90 plus diets and values. And as a Thrive Market member, you will save on every single order of the highest quality organic and sustainable products. And if you find a lower price somewhere else, they'll match it, which is awesome. They have two membership options, a month to month, which is $12 a month, or an annual membership, which is $5 a month, billed at $59.95. Five. We have the annual membership, it just makes the most sense for our family. And like I said, you will make back your annual membership back in savings. If you don't, they will credit you the difference. Orders over $49 ship free and it's super, super fast. I place an order and I can't believe how quickly as it comes, how quickly it comes. We love our Kodiak cake waffles. Like I said, I always stock up on those because they're cheaper at Thrive Market. There's a few things the girls love getting there every single time, but only when you go to thrivemarket.com slash Jamie's Journey do you get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60. So click the link in my description box or go to thrivemarket.com slash Jamie's Journey to get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60.
right, let's just jump right into good week and bad week, high point, low point to the week. So the high point to my week is I'm finally feeling better. Again, talking about what I was talking about earlier in the video, I am someone who has a hard time sitting still. As long as I get my sleep, that is key. You guys know that. I need my sleep. Give me seven hours, preferably eight, but I'm good with seven hours. As long as I get seven to eight hours of sleep, I keep up on my supplements. Um, even working out does help. As long as I get my sleep, like that's the foundation. If I get my seven hours of sleep, I am golden. I will go, go, go. When I'm sick, I just melt down and it's so hard for me to not be at 100% because again, I have a hard time sitting still and relaxing and taking time to just sit still. So when I'm sick, I tend to power through. I mean, I will make adjustments and like I didn't, like I won't work out or um, I'll prioritize my sleep more so. But I'm just saying is when I'm sick, it just drives me crazy because I don't like sitting. I don't like not being productive. It's really hard for me. So the high point is that I'm feeling better, feeling back to normal, and it feels good. The low point of the week. The kids are kind of sick. They're not full on sick like I was, but it's this weather, I'm telling you. You can kind of maybe even hear it in my voice still. It's just this time of the year when the weather changes, it just changes so rapidly. We actually had to turn our heat on this week because I think it got down to 39 degrees. So, I mean, I think last week it was in the mid 80s and that just, those huge temperature shifts that happen here in the Midwest really make my sinuses go crazy and typically causes a cold and other symptoms and the kids have kind of picked up on it they're still doing well and handling it well not full blown out not full blown colds yet um but i guess that's a low point because it's like one person gets sick in the house it goes through everyone and it just seems to linger and that's frustrating Again, I will have everything linked in the description. Now, I do have some general links down there, but I recently started putting one link and it will take you to my Like It To Know It page. And it's really been helpful. I've actually had a lot of messages from you guys that you like it because if you click on that link, it'll take you to the website and you can see the pictures of the items that I'm using, which, you know, like when I put up Stratus, um, or Shark Stratus Cordless Vacuum. You guys don't know what vacuum that is. Sometimes I use multiple vacuums. So it's just been really helpful for you guys to be able to find visually the item that you want. So that's all linked again in the description in one link, just so you know. But how are you guys doing these days? You know, I love October. I think October is my favorite month out of the year. I love Halloween, but after Halloween, is over then I start getting a little bit anxious for the holiday season and the hustle and bustle I love it but then it's also a very busy time and then you tend to have a lot more extra stuff on your plate programs and um, parties and gift buying for everybody you know it's just extra stuff and it can be a lot not to mention if you are dealing with depression or anxiety or if you've lost a loved one I know this that this time of the year can be really, really tough. So I'm just curious, how how are you guys doing? Are you holding up? Are you excited for the holiday season? Are you a little bit um, overwhelmed by it? But either way, I hope you're doing okay.
All right, if you have been around for a while, you probably remember this window cleaning tool. I had it in my old house, and you know what? It was buried in the storage area. I could not find it for the life of me, and I knew it was in there, but I was like, there's no way I'm digging through this mountain of stuff to find that. So I found it, and I busted it out. Now I will say, it's a pretty good cleaner. So what you do is you use that wand right there that I'm using to wipe and clean the windows, and then it's basically a vacuum and it sucks up all of the water. It's pretty great. I do like it. Now, do I think it's like this holy grail window cleaning tool? No. It's good, but not great, if that makes sense. It's not cheap. Um, if I remember correctly, I mean, I probably got it a year and a half ago. It was probably around... Is it around $50 or maybe more than that? I don't know. It's not cheap. Um, and so what I do is I use the scrubber and then I vacuum up and soak, suck up all the water. And then I, I do find that going over a, um, the window again with a microfiber towel helps there be no streaks. If I don't use a microfiber towel and wipe everything down, I do tend to see streaks. So like I said, it's not like this holy grail amazing cleaner, but it does do a good job. So something that I like to do throughout the weekend is do some sort of meal prep. So whether it's one meal that we can eat one night and then have leftover, so that knocks out two nights of meals, and then some sort of breakfast or lunch option. So I came across this recipe, I honestly think it was a suggested post on Instagram, and it's McGriddle Bites. So it's essentially... I'll actually have all of the recipes that I'm making today linked in the description, but it's just pancake mix. I did some protein pancake mix. Avery, like I said earlier, eats, doesn't eat lunch. I don't think she even goes to lunch until 1245. So I always like to make for sure she has a decent filling breakfast. So it's just pancake mix, sausage. I'd already made the sausage ahead of time, cheddar cheese, and syrup, and then you bake it. Again, recipe will be linked in the description, um, and then they're ready to go for the week. I just put them, you can freeze them. We heat them up in the microwave and then just add some syrup on top. What I'm making here is an overnight oats recipe. This was the first time we made it. I really like overnight oats and the girls love overnight oats. Their favorite, I make this birthday cake overnight oats recipe that they really like. I've tried a few other recipes that just hasn't really stuck with them. They didn't like it as much as the birthday cake and they always ask for that one. Um, but I came across this cinnamon roll overnight oat recipe. So we decided to give it a try and the girls really did like this one. I think it was a win. So I will have this recipe linked below, but again, it's just a healthy, filling um, breakfast and honestly if I have extras left over I'll even eat this for lunch. So I'm not going to claim that this is the best taco soup recipe out there, but what I will tell you, it is a very simple and easy recipe, pretty cheap and easy to keep on hand. And as a busy mom, I know you guys need this. So, um, again, the recipe will be linked in the description, but you just open all of these cans, pour it in there. The recipe did call for green enchilada sauce, but I, I believe 
that can be spicier had more have more spice than red and the kids are kind of sensitive to spice so i did red enchilada sauce instead of the green and i did add two packets of taco seasoning instead of one to add some flavor because it was a little bit bland but two packets of taco seasoning really really made it taste pretty good but this is just a recipe i've actually made it before it's just nice to keep on hand um especially if you live in a colder climate, soup is always good. It's It can be pretty healthy. And if you get bad weather, like freezing rain or snow, sometimes it's just nice to know you have a good hearty meal ready to go in your pantry. Okay, so really quickly, I wanted to show you our new chairs in the picture frames. I'm just gonna give you a quick little sneak peek because um, I'm going to be doing some cleaning for another video. I'll go into more detail, talk about where I got them from and all of that. But here are our chairs. So it's perfect, exactly what I was going for. I wanted something not very flashy, not very big. It's a basement table, more for arts and crafts. That's honestly, the girls will play arts and crafts here while I'm doing my workouts. It's a smaller table, so I didn't want big chairs. Um, and I thought this was cool. I am gonna have a rug under there, but I like how you have this like rattan. I really like that, the black to pull in from the rest of the basement, but I will have um, a rug to break it up. These are perfect and they're a really, really good price. I got them from Walmart. So it's perfect, exactly what I was going for. I wanted something not very flashy, not very big. It's a basement table, more for arts and crafts. That's honestly, the girls will play arts and crafts here while I'm doing my workouts. So oh, good did this one turn out. We actually have to hang the other two but I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek of what they look like so far. You guys helped me out. I know a lot of people said go with the black. Well, more people said stick with this. I did get some people to say go with black, um, so it would really pop off the wall, but I just decided to go with this, honestly, because these frames were a really, really good price. So um, I'm gonna hang Avery's and Emery's, and I'll show you guys in my next video. I think it's gonna look good because we have that pop of color. We have the Ohio State Buckeyes representing our favorite team and our girls and their smiling faces. I had my shower, I feel nice and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and make the bed. I'm gonna vacuum off all of the baking soda first. I use a shop vac, so a vacuum that we keep in our garage to clean out cars and stuff like that. I always clean the attachment parts um, before I use them in here. And then if I use it outside, I'll try to like wipe them down and clean them. You wanna be careful with using a regular vacuum with baking soda because it can clog up the filter. Don't ask me how I know. Yeah, it's not good for your vacuum at all to use a regular vacuum to get up baking soda. So I use a shop vac. So that's what I'm gonna do and then we'll make the bed. I'm not gonna fully make it because I'll be going to bed soon. Um, but yeah, I'll at least, at least get it put together and ready for me to crawl in there. I am so behind on, I feel like, everything. We're honestly even not that busy, so I don't even have an excuse, but I had not filled out the October family calendar. Obviously, I have my own personal calendar. Mike has his own calendar, so we're able to keep up on stuff, but it, I like this monthly view because... I can kind of see what's coming up and oh this was made with a Cricut machine but you can find similar ones on Etsy.
All right, so I've talked about this before, so I am so late to filling out the October calendar, so I just put it here. I don't know if I love the calendar being here. I like the calendar to be in the main kitchen, like the main area that we spend most of our time in. I thought I would like it back here because it's by the door when we go in and out, but honestly, like when you're going in and out of the house, the la like when I'm walking out of the door, I'm not like glancing at the calendar, you know? And it's more of, oh, I'm going in to throw a load of laundry and I glance over. I just, I just feel like it makes sense to be here, but it just doesn't, I don't know. I just don't feel like it reminds me of things that I want. And there's just really not a good place for it in the kitchen area of where I wanna put it. I don't know, have you guys heard of this skylight? I think it's a skylight. It's pretty expensive, but it's kind of like the Amazon Alexa that I have. It's a screen and it has the calendar. So it would just sit on your counter and you can update it, I think through an app or your computer and you can color code it. So I could color code, like when I glance at it, I thought it would be cool because I could color code it and so like all of the twin stuff would maybe be in pink and all of Avery stuff will be in blue. And I don't know, I just kind of like the idea of having the calendar on the countertop in a nice, um, like I kind of like the idea of a digital calendar right there on the countertop that I can see every single day to help remind me because just back here, I think that even if I did get something like that, I probably would keep this back here, but I don't know. I've seen them and I'm like super tempted. They're not cheap, but with three kids and schools, like right now they're in two different schools. Um, eventually, like next year, they'll all be in one school, but you know, you're juggling right now two different schools, different activities and all of that. I just think it would be nice. I think that this is the first year the twins are really involved in more activities because they're, you know, four and a half. So they're involved in more and I can feel the like every single day. It's like, okay, what do we have going on? And I think just having that calendar right there in the kitchen would honestly be very, very nice. So I'm just gonna have to see if I think it's worth the investment. Maybe it could be a Christmas present, but I just, I don't know. I'm curious. Do you guys have that? Have you seen it? Um, I'll put a link to it in the description so you guys can check it out, but I'm very intrigued. I've seen it on Instagram and on YouTube. So if you guys have heard anything about it, let me know. I also like it because you can update it from your phone. You can kind of um, like alter it very easily on your phone. You can color code it. Um, and I like how it would like block off the time as you would in like a digital calendar. So if like Avery has practice from 5.45 to 7.15, it would be blocked off. I don't know. I really, really, really want one and I think it would benefit us and it would be very helpful, but it's just kind of pricey. So let me know if you guys have any thoughts, if you tried it, if you've seen them, if you've heard anything, because I'm intrigued. So going back to some of the questions that I'm gonna ask, and I'm not gonna have time to go into detail in this video, maybe next video I'll talk more about it, but a lot of people are asking about fitness, workouts, what I eat in a day, nutrition. So I will tell you, and I believe this is due to my PCOS, any time in my life, even when I was a child, well, pretty much, I was always small until I hit puberty, and then I, I honestly did gain a good amount of weight. And then I was kind of, um, I had some extra weight on me until I got active about my freshman year in high school. And then I started playing three sports year round. And so then I, you know, lost weight. I got muscular. And then when I went away to college, I did not stay active and I had access to all the foods in the dorm and was living that college lifestyle. And I gained quite a bit of weight. So going back, um, anytime I'm not active, I gain weight and my PCOS symptoms get way worse. So that is also a big motivator for me. I'll talk more about that in another video so I can go into more details because I do have some tips that I think really help me stick and stay on track with nutrition. Someone asked about, they just said that they, congratulations on your beautiful basement. I love it and wish I could hang with you there. I wish you could hang with me too. She said, my question is, does your girls ever have friends over and how are they socially with other kids? Avery, yes, not really the twins. I'm being four. They don't have a lot of friends. We do have a niece. Mike's sister um, has a four-year-old too. So they play a lot with her. 
Um, the twins really don't play a lot with their own friends yet. With Avery, it was when she went to kindergarten, she really developed those friendships. But yes, Avery has, she pretty much plays with a friend almost weekly. She was just at a birthday party last weekend. Um, my kids are, I'm not the most outgoing. I'm very, I'm pretty quiet. And so is Mike. So our kids are all, with, with the exception of Emery. <laughs> I call her the wild card because she is definitely so much different than Addison and Avery and Mike and I. Like Mike and I are pretty quiet. So I would say they are social. Avery loves playing with friends. Mike and I are also social. Mike plays in a golf league weekly. He has, um, he goes and golfs with his guy friends. The one thing with Mike and I, and I don't know if this is unique or what, but I think because we've been together since we were 15, you know, we met each other when we were in fifth grade. So we've been friends since middle school, dating since we were 15. We went to college together. So his friends have always been my friends and my friends have always been his friends. Now, granted, I mean, obviously I have girl nights where we go and get pedicures or we go out for margaritas or Mexican, stuff like that, where you need your girl time. And he does, um, he goes golfing and plays basketball with his guy friends. Like, obviously we have our own time, but we're going to a concert in a couple weeks and we're going together with couple friends. If we go out, it's almost 99% of the time it's a bunch of couple friends. We just have a core group. It's not even just Mike and I, but even our friend group, we're all really good friends together. So that's a lot of fun. You know, we'll get together for football games our friends will bring their kids over the kids will run around and of course like the girls are sitting on one side of the couch chatting and the guys are sitting on the other side watching the game and chatting about the game um so we each have our own separate times um but we do love being with our friends we try to get together as much with our friends as we can avery is she just loves playing with her friends she loves it and she's more quiet a little bit more reserved um but they're all pretty social. And I would say Emery is the most social and she will talk your ear off and she loves school. All right, so someone else had asked, let me bring up the question. She, she said, what's one piece of advice you received in your lifetime so far that sticks with you? And I think for me, something I've learned in my 37 years is that there's gonna be some ups and downs. There's gonna be times in your life where you're gonna feel like you can't get through it. I've had two instances in my life, infertility being one, another one, I won't go into details because it doesn't just involve me, that really knocked me down. And I think that what I've learned is how to be resilient, but when I was going through infertility, I came across this quote. It says, you can't skip chapters. That's not how life works. You have to read every line, meet every character. You won't enjoy all of it. Hell, some chapters will make you cry for weeks. You will read things you don't want to read. You will have moments when you don't want the pages to end, but you have to keep going. Stories keep the world revolving. Live yours. Don't miss out. And so when you read this, you know, it makes you think of, you don't, you don't think of your life as a book, right? If you're reading a book, there's going to be some super highs and super lows, but in the end, it's your story. And those hard times will make you resilient. They will make you a better person and you will get out and you will be proud of yourself for getting out of that time, that moment, you know? And so I just always go back to this quote because the times that I've thought, I'm never going to get out of this or it's never going to get better. It did and it has. And I'm not done, you know? There's going to be times where I'm going to be on the ground again when I lose my parents or who knows, you know? But I will get through it and it's my story. We are all strong. We all go through tough times, but it's part of our story. It's part of our lives. And those tough and low moments will make us stronger. They will make us resilient. And when we get through those, we will look back at those chapters and realize that we are strong. We're strong and we will get through it. And I just always refer back to that when I'm having a tough time because I feel like it shows me that I have gotten through tough times and come out stronger. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll answer some more questions in an upcoming video. Thank you for being here. You're amazing. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you next time.